Well, hello the new. It's only me, Leonard Wells, broadcasting as usual from Studio B here in the Giggle Mill in Haslingdon, north of Manchester in the UK. Studio B, as you know, has as resident engineer none other than Adolf Apfelstrudel, that very sweet chap from Bechtus Garden in Bavaria, which is in Germany, you know. Adolf used to be a driver for the AA, the Automobile Association. He used to rescue people who had broken down at the side of the road. Unfortunately, he developed a drink problem and had to leave and became a member of Alcoholics Anonymous. So he was often referred to as AA from AA from BB. Unfortunately, Adolf was gruesomely wounded in the war, in the WAR, I should say. Uh, and um, because of this, he refuses steadfastly to appear in front of the camera for fear of frightening the children, you know. Just occasionally, however, he will, if coaxed, wave to you, but only wearing a glove, again, to hide his wounds, which he got in the WAR. The other problem with Adolf is that he's a strict disciplinarian and refuses me any more than 12 digital megaburgers per broadcast, which means I have to deny you that all-time thrill of seeing and hearing my world-famously forgettable rendition of Ness and Dorma. I've just, he's just come in from lunch, actually, from the pub, and I'll ask him if uh, he's interested in uh, speaking to you, uh, uh, waving to you, rather, this afternoon. Any chance, Adolf? He says he'll think about it for a few seconds. I've got a feeling he's going to say no because that's the usual uh, way he, he when he's when he's had a skin full, he sounds a bit like a, like that. What do you think, Adolf? <coughs> no, he's feeling very horsey. He said, "No chance." So, uh, my little tale today is about married life. And uh, there was this couple, and they'd been married for 30 years. Never an angry word between them. And um, one day, after the um, wedding anniversary, all the guests had left, and they were sitting hand in hand, on the uh, couch, uh, looking at each other and whispering sweet nothings. Excuse me, one second. <laughs> uh, and um, <coughs> oh, 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 that must be seven o'clock. It's these oaks, you know. They they keep you as regular as a clock. Anyway, this couple were sitting on the, on the sofa at the end of their 30th wedding anniversary party. And all the guests had left and they were holding hands and whispering sweet nothings. And he looked at her and he said, you've been such a wonderful wife to me, darling. She said, you've never, ever been unfaithful. And at this point she blushed a little bit and he said, well, he said, you haven't, have you? So she said, I'm going to have to tell you, she said, I have been unfaithful three times. He said, oh no. He felt as though he'd been harpooned. He said, he said, well, while, you, while you've told me, he said, tell me all about it. He said, how many years ago was it? When? And tell me every, every detail. He says, I want to know. Get it out of the open. So she said, I'm sorry. She said, but the first time, she said, do you remember when you were desperate to get a bank loan to start your business? And ten banks turn you down, and then all of a sudden one night, the president of the Bank of Alaska comes to the front door and personally offers you any amount that you needed. Oh, he said, darling, he said, did you really do that for me? Oh, marvellous, he said, absolutely fantastic. And, and, the, and the other times? She said, well, the second time, she said, do you remember when you, you had a bad heart and you needed quadruple bypass and we hadn't got any insurance? And all of a sudden, this surgeon from New York phoned up and said he could get you in that night. Do you remember? Oh, he said, you saved my life, he said. 
oh, what a woman, what a wife. And how about the third time? So she said the third time, you remember when you were a member of that golf club and you were desperate to become chairman? He said, yes, of course I do. She said, you remember, right at the start, you were 37 votes short. Thank you and good night, folks. <laughs>